Hi everyone, Jeremy here for Blackview and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Blackview app for your dash cam. So first thing first is you go to the app store of your choice and type Blackview. Uh, search for the Blackview app is really just Blackview. Download that one and you're good to go. Next thing to do is launch the app and create your account. There are a few easy options. You can log in with your Apple or Google account. So go ahead and do that. And this will allow you to easily add your dash cam later for easy connection anytime in the future. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you in a few seconds how to do that in the car. Today I'm going to show you how to do the initial setup of your dash cam with the Blackview app. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is downloading the Blackview app from the App Store. Uh, you can just type Blackview like this and, and search for the Blackview app. Uh, and then you download the app. I already downloaded it, so now I'm gonna open. And the first thing you do when you open the app is uh, create your Blackview account. This will allow you to easily add your dash cam later and, and always uh, access your dash cam easily. So first thing first is once you have your Blackview app and you created your account, you're gonna connect to your dash cam. But the first thing is you need to add your dash cam. So in other words, pair it with the Blackview app. To do that, you press the plus button and this will ask you to choose a connection method. Because my Box Pro model has seamless pairing, like all the recent models, you can go ahead and press next. You can see my dash cam has been detected already by the app. So I select the dash cam and now it's asking me to verify my camera. So I'm gonna press uh, the button and hold the button until I hear the sound so that it will um, signify to me that it's connected and verified. As you can see, it's successfully verified. So I tap next and here it will ask me to do the cloud connection. So for now, I will just um, tap later and just show you the basic things that you have to set up with your camera. So the first thing is language, time zone and speed unit. Um, so I just go ahead and click next. Uh, it will ask me to connect at this point over Wi-Fi with the camera. So I tap join. As you can see, it's establishing the Wi-Fi connection between the app and the dash cam. And I select the language. You can select a uh, language of your choice. We'll go with English and tap next. Next, you have to choose your time zone uh, because depending on where you are, you might want to, to choose a different time. Um, for example, you can you know, tap USA if you're in California you can GMT minus 8 or anything you, you can also search for your country you know if you're uh, France or USA uh, I, I will just go with California because we've got a lot of customers in the US so let's go and here by default the camera will be set up into kilometer per hour but also if you're in the US you might prefer to um, use miles per hour and then you tap next and that's it here you're ready to go and after you tap save there will be a, a message from from the dash cam as you can hear uh, because it will format the SD card at that point and uh, record. Uh, so 
everything you recorded before will be erased but obviously this is the first time setup so no worries but something to know in case you want to change those settings such as time zone for example so now the settings are being applied to the dash cam and uh, it's gonna restart so once it's restarted you will hear the voice from the front camera which will tell you you know black view you know um, for your safe driving starting normal recording so that part can take a little bit of time because as you can see the the dash cam just has to format everything and then restart all right, that now my camera has been added to the app so I can tap on it and connect it to it again. Uh, I have to reconnect, of course, because um, when it restarts and um, format itself, it loses the connection. So now I'm connected over Wi-Fi, as you can see. And the first thing I want to check is live view because I want to just adjust you know quickly the angle of the the front camera um, so you generally want to have the angle pointed slightly down you know not too much to the sky uh, but rather uh, having the hood you know um, occupying about a third of the, the image and after you do that adjust the angle using the, the camera, uh, the Blackview app, and then you can adjust the angle and tighten like this. So now we're good to go. The other thing you wanna check in the app is your parking mode f uh, setup. So I'm going to go to the options and um, in here you have all your, your options um, and you can see your parking mode. Uh, by default, it will be time-lapse mode, but if you want, you can also use motion detection, uh, which will only trigger a video when something is moving in front of the camera and when some impact is detected. So I will leave it to time-lapse because time-lapse is pretty convenient and also includes impact detection. Um, but the, the other thing I wanted to make sure you, you check is the low voltage cutoff and the cutoff timer. With low voltage cutoff, you're able to set up exactly when your dash cam is gonna stop drawing power from your vehicle's battery which is important and depending on the type of vehicle you have you might want to set the value higher or lower let's say if you have a big suv you might keep it a little bit high but if you have another type of car you want you might want to lower that value so that it stays on and doesn't shut down too early so you can adjust in increment of you know 0.1 volt up and down as such uh, and there are settings for either passenger vehicles on the 12 volt system or heavy vehicle based on the 24 volt system and whenever you change anything just uh, make sure to go back and hit save <laughs> 